Exactly, the opportunity for thunderstorms rolling back into the forecast late Sunday and also during the day on Monday. In the interim, though, as we kick off the beginning of the weekend, though, it is going to be pretty nice. Here's a look at some of the afternoon highs we had today with 91 in Sacramento, 90 in Stockton, 90 degrees in Modesto, 90 in Auburn, upper 80s coming in for Placerville, 89 degrees in Jackson, and the lower 80s in South Lake Tahoe, as well as in Truckee. So weather headlines, it was a very nice end to the work week. Warmer temperatures are also coming into play over the course of the weekend. As and monsoonal moisture will introduce an opportunity for thunderstorms, which will also increase the opportunity for fire weather due to dry lightning. Here's a look at uh, a pretty nice photo sent in by Brooke. Uh, this one says, stay cool in Tahoe. If you are up in the Tahoe area and you're taking some nice photos, maybe just enjoying yourself, you can always share those photos with us by uploading them to the ABC 10 app. So outside right now with the near 90 degrees in Stockton, as well as in Fairfield, 90 in Sacramento, lower 90s coming in through Marysville. How about 70? 79 in Santa Rosa, 64 degrees in San Francisco, and 95 degrees in Ukiah. So southwest winds are still coming into play, and southwest winds tend to be a little cooler. They're coming in off the ocean, and they really help with air temperatures. That is why most of the week we've been below average. Well, winds are going to be veering over the course of the weekend. They will not be coming in out of the southwest, and that's why we're expected to warm up. So here's a look at some of the moisture that we're seeing down in parts of Albuquerque, also moving into parts of Nevada. That's the monsoonal moisture that I talked about. So we got a high pressure system over us. That's what's going to be turning the opportunity for that moisture right in our back door. And that's what the possibility for thunderstorms will be coming into play Sunday and Monday. So for that reason, we do have a fire weather watch in effect for everything in the shading here through the valley, through the hills, into the Sierra, even parts of the Bay Area. Any of those thunderstorms are likely to have very little uh, rainfall. We're not talking about copious amounts of rain. We're talking about dry lightning. And unfortunately, because we are so dry, that does increase the opportunity, of course, for some new fire starts. So that's something that we'll have to be mindful of over the course of the weekend. Here's a look at afternoon highs to run the foothills with 97 in Ion, 95 in Angels Camp, 95 in Auburn coming after a morning low in the 60s. Tahoe for the next five days, you'll see the mid 80s with a chance of thunderstorms coming into play Monday, still in the forecast Tuesday as well as Wednesday. Once you hit the Bay Area, 64 in San Francisco, 71 in Oakland. How about 78 in Napa, 93 in Fairfield, 92 in Antioch, 80 degrees in Gilroy. And then you hit the valley floor and things are warming up. 99 tomorrow in Patterson, 99 in Turlock, upper 90s in Tracy, mid 90s in Lodi. So the cooler weather we have for the beginning of the week is adios. Yeah, we're going to be warming up 95 in Sacramento, up to 100 in Oroville, 99 in Yuba City. And you can see some of the warmest, hottest temperatures on the northern as well as the southern end of the valley. Take a look at that 10 day forecast things warming up as we head into Monday and Tuesday. But right now weather models are cooling us right back down by the middle of the week.